Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. The, today I want to show you how to make this boy's jacket. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It has a collar that will be nicely going around the neck, standing up. I have strings right here. You can make it shorter or longer. And pockets that actually do open and they can be used. So this is a size for two to three years old. Uh, you can make it in any size. I will give you the charts and everything. If you will be making a bigger size, you just need to use the uh, bigger measurements from my chart and make everything slightly bigger or smaller if you want a smaller uh, size. So the main part of the cardigan is a two row repeat, a double crochet, row into the back loop and a single crochet into the back loop like here and that makes those beautiful little ridges in there and then the edging most of it is a single crochets into the back loop and a simple single crochet pockets and buttonholes right here the edge now it looks slightly different on the inside show you you can use the other side if you feel that it is a bit more interesting so you can use this or this i prefer this side okay so if you got interested and you would like to see um how to make it let's go and have a look of what we are going to need and we can get started on it so for this project we are going to need seven buttons now if you're not planning to do uh, the pockets you might only need five then whatever buttons you have will work uh, a measuring tape my one is in, in centimeters because this is what i use and my size chart is in centimeters as well so this is very very important because this is uh, going to make this cardigan in the size that we want it to be next is scissors a needle to hide the tails and five stitch markers again we really really need them uh, then we are going to need a hook. I will be using a four millimeter hook that matches my yarn. If you are not sure, you can look up on the label what size hook is recommended. So my yarn recommends a four to five millimeter hook. So I'm using on the smaller side, the four millimeter hook. Now you don't have to use the same yarn as I am. I will be using a mega ball from we love yarn and this is from mohobi.com I have ordered these online and I have two colors so these are the same two colors that I had uh, shown you the cardigan the, this time I'm just gonna swap the colors around so this is going to be my main color and this is going to be the edging so the yarn that we are going to use should be lightweight yarn or uh, yarn number free and this is a hundred percent acrylic about 300 grams uh, sorry about 300 meters in 100 grams of yarn so like i said you don't have to use this use what you have just try to get yarn that is a similar uh, weight to mine so okay so how much yarn we're going to need so we're going to need about 200 grams of main color and 50 grams or a little bit more for the edging now this is for the size for two to three years old for bigger sizes you're going to need about 250 to 300 grams of main color and I would suggest you have about 100 grams for the edging uh, hopefully that helps you out with uh, how much yarn we're going to need so uh, then we are going to have a quick look at my size chart so this is that i'm going to have uh, this posted a uh, picture of this posted on my facebook page and i will leave a link to this uh, in the description box of this video okay so these are the months so zero to three months three to six six to nine nine to twelve months then it's 12 to 18 so one year to one year and a half one year and a half to two years two to three three to four four to five and five to six years this is the biggest size that i have and the measurements that we are going to need is the chest for the finished size so our chest cir circumference for the finished cardigan so you will be looking up from the size that you're making 
and find it right here. So I will be making a, sorry, 18 to 24 months. So this size. So chest finished, yoke. I'm going to show you where we're going to need this measurement. And then we're going to need sleeve length. That is all we are going to need. Okay, I believe I have said everything and now we can get started. Okay, so grab your hook, four stitch markers, measuring tape, and your yarn. Now, I'm gonna quickly explain what we are going to do. So this is the length of our starting chain that we are going to make, okay? So these are the ages I will be making for 18 to 24 months size. So my starting chain should be about 43 centimeters long. Now, I know the length, but I don't know how many chains I should do. So this is where this chart comes in. So the number in the very middle is the total amount of chains. Okay, so we will be making chains and then measuring the length of the chain. And which one of these will be the closest to the length that we need from right here? We will stick to that. And this is going to be our row one. I don't know which one will be mine for now, but I will show you exactly how, how to measure everything. Okay, so grab your hook and your yarn, make a slip knot, whichever way you are making, and start chaining. So I will start uh, and I will chain uh, 40 for now, and I will measure that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and I will keep going until I have 40. So I have 40 chains right here. So this number, and I'm going to measure if this measures about 43 centimeters in the length that I need. So I'm going to put my measuring tape at the very first chain and give it a tiny little pull that way. And I'm going to give it a tiny little pull. So that measures about 25 centimeters. This is way too short for me. So I'll skip a few. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to skip 46 and 52. I'm going to go for 62 chains. Because these are going to be still too short. If you're making smaller sizes, make sure you try these uh, and measure. Okay. So I have 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 50, 51, 52, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that is 60, and I need two more, 62. I have 62 chains right now, and I'm going to measure if that is my 43 centimeters that I'm looking for. Now, it can be a little bit shorter, it is no problem at all, so if I measure, you can see, and give it a tiny little pull. I'm still short. I'm still about 39 to 40 centimeters. Still a little short. I'm going to go for 68 chains. So I have 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, and 68. Measure that again. And I am, if I give it a tiny little pull, I'm about 42, 43 centimeters in length. You can see right here. So this is perfect. And this is the yoke that I am going to make. You do exactly the same way. You find the amount of chains that is the closest to the length that is written right here. So I'm going to show this for a second. If you need, you can pause and look at the length of the starting chain. And again, if you need to have a look, you can pause and find those, the number of those starting chains. Okay. So once you know which one you are making, you are just going to stick to the square, okay? So I am making this one. I have 68 chains and now I am going to add one extra chain. That is the same for everybody. Make an extra chain. Now you're going to skip two chains, one and two, into the third chain. You're going to make a double crochet. Now, those two chains in the beginning that we have skipped, we, uh, uh, we count them as a double crochet, and then I made another double crochet, so that is two, and I need 
So the number right here, I need eight in total. So I have one, two. So into the next chain, it is three. Into the next one, four. Into the next one, five. Six. Seven. And I have eight. So this number right here. Next, we have a little number that says one. That is our corner. That's where you get a stitch marker. And into the next chain, we're going to make three double crochets all in the same chain. So one, two, and three. Now you're going to turn your work sideways and you're going to uh, mark second stitch. So this is the first stitch. This is the second stitch. The loop that is on our hook doesn't count. So first stitch one, stitch two, you're going to mark that. That is going to be our corner. Next, it is the side or the shoulder. So I have 14 double crochets and I start counting from the next chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So next up is a corner again. You just make sure that you are following the numbers that are on your yoke. So our second corner into the next chain, we're going to make three double crochets. So one, two, and three. All three are in the same chain. Again, get your stitch marker and mark your second stitch. So this is the stitch one, stitch two. Mark that. Next up is the back right here. So I have 20 double crochets and I start counting from the next chain. One, two, three, and I will keep going until I have 20. I have made my 20 double crochets and then I have my third corner into the next chain. I have three double crochets. One, two and three get a stitch marker and mark your second stitch from the hook so stitch one stitch two again this is another shoulder i have 14 double crochets one two Three, and then keep going until you have the number that is right here. Made my 14 double crochets and I have my very last corner. So into the next chain, I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Again, mark your second stitch, stitch one and stitch two. And if I have counted everything correctly, I should have eight chains or eight double crochets left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and we are done with row one so again if you need pause and have a look make sure you finish the row one because we are not going to need this chart anymore again this chart is going to be on my facebook uh, page and this is how our row one 
looks like. Now we're going to start on row two and there's a few things that you need to remember because this is already going to be a repeat row. So these are going to be single crochets. Okay, so to start the next row, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn around and we're gonna make our first single crochet into the very first stitch. Just a normal single crochet. After that, we start crocheting into the back loop. So this is the front loop, right here, the closer one to you, and there is a back loop in the back. So we are going to catch only this piece of yarn into the back loop and start making your uh, single crochets until you get to the last stitch before the stitch marker. So right here, so you can see I have a stitch marker and there is one more stitch left before. So for single crochet rows, we are going to increase into the stitch before the stitch marker and into the stitch after stitch marker, after each of them. So the stitch before the stitch marker, we're going to make two single crochets, one and another one into the back loop. We're going to take the stitch marker out and we make a normal single crochet into this stitch. Both loops. We're using both loops right here. Again, now you're going to mark that stitch, the very first one. After you make single crochet, because we made one of them, we are marking that stitch again. And after the stitch marker, into the next stitch, into the back loop only, again, two single crochets. Keep going with one single crochet until you get to the second, uh, to the last stitch before our stitch marker. So one into each back loop. Again, one stitch before the stitch marker, so I have one more st uh, stitch left. I make two single crochets into the back loop. So this is my increase. I'm going to take the stitch marker out. Into the stitch that had the stitch marker, I make a normal single crochet through all, to, uh, I mean, um, through both loops. And I mark the same stitch again. The very first one. After the stitch marker, the next stitch gets two single crochets. After that, continue with one single crochet until you get to the last stitch before the stitch marker. I have one more stitch before the stitch marker. I make two single crochets into the back loop stitch marker out, a normal single crochet through both loops, mark that stitch, and the next stitch into the back loop, two single crochets. Continue with one single crochet into the back loop until you get to the last stitch before the stitch marker. Okay, so I have one more stitch left right here into the back loop, two single crochets. Stitch marker out, normal single crochet, mark back that very first stitch. After the stitch marker, two single crochets into the back loop. And then we're going to finish with one single crochet into each stitch. Now in the row two right here, 
our very last stitch will go into the top of that chain we have left the very very first double crochet that we made we counted those two chains as a double crochet so make sure you don't skip that into the top chain just normal make a single crochet like this and this is how our two rows look like next up is row number three and it is a double crochet row so you are going to every row will start the same so remember this you're gonna chain one you're gonna turn around make a double crochet into the stitch you're going to use both loops in the beginning and in the end of each row you're going to use both loops and make your double crochet then we start making double crochets into the back loops of the previous row now one double crochet into each stitch take the stitch marker out in double crochet rows you will be making your corners into so into the next stitch free double crochets into a full stitch no back loops just free double crochets into the full stitch once you made that stitch number two from the hook one and two mark that and keep going with one double crochet into the back loop until you get to the next stitch marker one double crochet into the back loop all the way into each stitch take the stitch marker out into the marked stitch through all loops you make three double crochets so as you can see the increases and the two rows that we will be using are slightly different you just need to remember how they look so mark your second stitch from the hook after you make your corner you continue with one double crochet into the back loop until you get to your next stitch marker Once you get to the stitch marker, you take that out, three double crochets through all loops to do an increase in the corner. Mark your second stitch, stitch one, stitch two. And again, keep going with one double crochet into the back loop. So I'm not gonna show you anymore. So I'm gonna meet you at the end of row three. At the end of a double crochet row you're gonna make your last double crochet into the last stitch as normal through all of the loops not into the back loop just normal double crochet chain one and we will be starting row four which is again a single uh, crochet row now again remember uh, the corners right here so double crochet rows have three double crochets in the marked stitch through both loops it is the same in every row of double crochets single crochet rows have two single crochets into the back loop before the stitch marker and in the stitch after the stitch marker the marked stitch gets one single crochet through both loops so I'm just quickly going to remind you of how it starts so we're gonna chain one I already have done that turn around make a single crochet through all of the loops a normal single crochet the first one and the last one in each row and then into the back loops keep going until you get to the last stitch before the stitch marker the last stitch right here so you see the next one excuse me so this one this stitch is marked this one is not 
So I make two single crochets into the back loop, stitch marker out, put a single crochet through both loops and mark that stitch. So the very first one right here. And the stitch after gets two single crochets into the back loop and then you continue with one until you get to that next stitch marker. So again, marked stitch, the stitch before gets two single crochets, the stitch after gets two single crochets. And you keep going once you get to the end. So you will make a normal single crochet into the very last stitch through both loops. And these are the two rows that we will continue uh, making until we reach our yoke height. Okay, so I will first, firstly, I will make my uh, yoke and I will show you exactly what we are looking for to know that we are ready to connect. So already the little ridges are, uh, you, you can make them out. So I like this side where my single crochets are sort of a, look like they are under the double crochets. So whichever side you prefer, for now you just keep making. It will get longer, bigger, wider, and then we will be ready to connect. And so my yoke is done and I'm ready to measure it. Now I already did, but I want to show you what we're looking for, okay? So the first thing that is very, very important before measuring, you have to end up on single crochet rows. Now I have finished a row of single crochets and then I measure every time I did that, I have measured to see if I am nearly there at my yoke height, okay? So single crochets is the last row. Place your yoke like this and this is what we are going to measure now. Look up, so this is a chart, okay? The size that you're making, so I'm making 18 to 24 months, yoke right here. So this number for me, so I have 14. If you're making bigger sizes, you're gonna have bigger numbers. For smaller sizes, smaller numbers. So 14 centimeters for me. Take your measuring tape and measure from the top of that corner to your stitch marker. And I am at about 12 and a half centimeters. Now I need 14 in total. It is okay to be about two centimeters or less under that measurement. So you can see because the, la the next row that we're going to do, and we will all be on double crochet row, we are going to make up that missing space. So if you are two centimeters short or less, so two centimeters, one and a half, or one centimeter short to this measurement, it is okay, you are ready to connect, like this. Now the next thing that we are going to look up before measuring is how much we are missing on the chest circumference. Now we should be fairly close to what we need in total. Again, we are going to look at the chest for the finished, Make sure it says finished right here for my age that I'm making. It is 58 centimeters. Now, as we are only going to measure one half, only the back, we only need a half of this measurement. So whatever you have, divide that into two. I divide my 58 into two and I have 29 centimeters. Take your measuring tape and measure from one stitch marker to another. Don't pull on it, just let it sit as it is. From one stitch marker to the other, I am about 27 and a half centimeters. Now I am one and a half centimeters short to get to my 29, as you can see right here. So I am right here. I need to be one and a half centimeters further. That means that I need to do some chains under the armholes. I'm gonna look up how many stitches fit into that one and a half centimeters that I am missing. So 
This is one centimeter for me in my measuring tape and this is one and a half. I'm just gonna place that over the stitches that I have already made. And I'm going to look so right here. I don't know which way it's better to show. Try this way. Now, one, two stitches. So two stitches, stitch one, stitch two, make up that one and a half centimeter that I am missing. You can make it a little bit wider if you want, but I'm going to add two chains because I'm missing about two uh, stitches to make up the missing circumference. So two chains under here and two chains on the other side, okay? So make sure you count that. It doesn't matter the number. Now, if you have actually managed to meet the number that you need, the, the circumference, you are still going to put at least one chain under each armhole. This is going to make it easier for us once we are doing our sleeves. So, you're gonna chain one and start your row as always. So we're all on double crochets and just make your way down to that stitch marker in back loops. I have made my way to the stitch marker into the back loops and then I'm going to take the stitch marker out because that is my next stitch and I'm going to make a double crochet through both loops just a normal double crochet then we're going to chain as many chains as we need so I have counted that I need two chains so chain one and chain two now find the next stitch marker right here and make a double crochet into that marked stitch I'm gonna leave the stitch marker in there for now just through both loops just a double crochet and we have connected and then keep going in the in the back loops of your double crochets until you get to the next stitch marker. Go to the other stitch marker and I am ready to connect the other side. I took the stitch marker out and through both loops make a double crochet. Then Chain the same amount of chains as you have in the other side. So that is two for me. Find the next, next stitch marker. Make sure it's not twisted. And make a double crochet into that stitch that is marked. And continue to the end into the back loop with your double crochets. Now from, from now on, it's going to be quite easy. We are just going to follow the pattern. There's no more corners. We will just keep making the length. So every row will start and finish exactly the same as we have done before right here. So I am going to quickly finish this row. Chain one, start my single crochet into the back loop and I'm gonna meet you right here and we will see what to do with those chains. I am at my armhole or near my two chains and every stitch I have made is into the back loop and I have one more proper stitch left which again I'm gonna do into the back loop. Now once we get to our chains there's no back loop so we are just gonna make our single crochets into the chains just normally. One single crochet into each chain, doesn't matter how many chains you have done. And then we will continue on into the back loops until we get to the other side of our armhole. But from now on, it's all repeat, repeat and repeat. Uh, I don't think there's a point to show you anymore. I think this is quite easy. We just repeat the same pattern, front and back. Okay. So now I'm going to quickly talk about how long we should make this part. The very first thing that we are going to look up is the sleeve length right here because our length of our cardigan will be based on the sleeves. So sleeve length for the size that I'm making, so 18 to 24 months, is 21 centimeters 
long, the sleeves. I'm going to show you quickly. So on this cardigan, right? So we will be measuring the sleeves from the armhole so or from the place where we have just connected, from right here. So if my sleeve has to be 21 centimeter in total length, so 21 from here, I want the whole length of my cardigan to be about 20, uh, sorry, excuse me, about two centimeters longer than my sleeve. So sleeve is 21, I want the full length to be 23. So exactly the same to you, look up the sleeve length and make your cardigan about two centimeters longer. So again, you will be measuring from the armhole to make it this length. Now, one thing to remember is we are just talking here about the full length. We have to have in mind that we have a ribbing at the bottom, which is about four and a half, five centimeters long. So the last, let's say five centimeters, we are going to leave for the ribbing. If my total length is 23 centimeters, I'm going to leave five centimeters for the ribbing. So I make 18 centimeters in the main pattern. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense to you, uh, write a comment and I will work it out for you. But just make sure that you leave about four or five centimeters at the bottom from your full length for the ribbing. So I will be, I will keep going for the next 18 centimeters in the same kind of pattern. And then I'm going to meet you and we will start on the sleeves. Okay, so I have finished the length of my cardigan. It is about 18 centimeters long. Now, once you measure, don't go pulling on it because it is very stretchy. Just kind of uh, flatten it down with your hand. And from the armhole, like this, my cardigan is about 18 centimeters long at the moment. Plus, I'm going to have another about five centimeters so I will end up at 23 in total so and I have finished on a double crochet row but it doesn't matter which row you end up on as long as you get the length that you need okay so we're gonna start with the sleeves now so I have one made as you can see it is quite a straight sleeve we are going to do a, a little bit of decreasing in the first two rows and then we are just gonna stick to that number of stitches and keep going so with the sleeve length so right here sleeve length for the size that I'm making is 21 centimeters in length now again just like we did with the length right here I leave the last four and a half five centimeters for the ribbing okay for the little cuff right here so 21 minus 5 is about 16 centimeters in total length again I'm just gonna press it down I'm not gonna pull in it and measuring from the armhole right here I have 16 centimeters in length now have in mind that it will stretch from wearing okay so to start our sleeves we have to be to make sure that our cardigan is facing the same way for everybody so your uh, tail right here should be on the right hand side under your right hand and if you want to use the other side later then you, you can just uh, turn it out the other way but we start the sleeves we need to make sure that we are all on the same side okay so first of all we are going to connect our yarn into one of those chains that we have right here under the armhole so I have two chains you might have more or less uh, we are just going to make a double crochet into each of those chains so it doesn't really matter where you connect just into one of them so I have two so this is one and this is two I am just going to connect right here so have a slip knot Catch that, pull that out, you're going to chain one. That is always our every row of double crochets is going to start the same way. Chain one does not count as a stitch. I'm gonna turn around. So we will be crocheting from the inside of the cardigan. And now we are going to make a double crochet back into that same space right here 
or to that chain where the chain one is. So yarn over and make a double crochet. Now this right here is going to be your very last stitch. This is where we are, we are going to connect, okay? So if you are new to crochet, make sure that you mark that. You can see one right here left from the chain right here just on top of the chain or in between the chain and double crochet and mark that it, that way it will be easier for you to know where to connect okay then you keep making double crochets until you get uh, until you use up if you have any more of those chains underneath your armhole now I don't have any more and I have this double crochet right here which I have connected my yoke so right here. So this is where we're going to do our decrease. So yarn over. Okay, so this is a double crochet. Go into the bottom of that double crochet. Catch a yarn, pull it out. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops and leave that alone. Again, yarn over. Go into the top of that double crochet. So this was the bottom. This is the top part. Catch your yarn, pull it out. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through all the rest of the loops, okay? So we have one double crochet, two double crochets. We need to count them to make sure that our both sleeves will be, uh, will have the same amount of stitches. So next is this little stitch right here. We had the corners there, so make a double crochet. So I have three, and after that, we have stitches right here. So we continue on, uh, with making double crochets into the back loop only. And you just keep going all the way around until you don't have any normal stitches anymore and you are gonna just keep going into the double crochets or our corners right here and keep counting your stitches. I have come down to this stitch right here where we have connected the yoke on the other side of the sleeve. So I don't have any stitches to do the back loop anymore. So the next stitch is just a normal double crochet. Then it is the double crochet that we have connected with. So we are going to do a decrease again. So in the top of that double crochet, make a half of a double crochet. Yarn over, go into the bottom of it and make another half and pull through all loops. You just made a decrease. And then make sure that you don't have any more uh, chains right here. I have another one. So just fill them all in like this. Now we are going to slip stitch into the very first stitch so you can either turn your work this way and you are going to see the stitch or you can mark it if you find it difficult to see and i take that out and i'm just going to make a slip stitch i'm gonna chain one i'm gonna turn around and we're going to start a single crochet row. Now the very first single crochet goes into that tiny little bit right here. So this was the slip stitch that we have just done. And we go back into that slip stitch and make a single crochet. Now again, if you need to mark, mark that stitch right here, right under the hook. And that is where you're going to connect. And then the next two stitches we are going to crochet together so no yarning over just go into the back loop of the next stitch catch a yarn pull it out and then go into the straight into the next one catch a yarn pull it out you have three loops so i have you see i'm using two stitches right here yarn over and pull through all three loops and then just continue on with a single crochet into the back loop of each stitch until you get to the last two stitches. And just keep going to about here. 
Okay, so I'm back with two stitches left. Now, it might look like I have three stitches. So, if you look, one, two, and three. It looks like three. Now, if you look very closely, that very, very tiny last one next to the chain one, if you look from the bottom of your sleeve, you can see that the chain one right here is coming out of this stitch so you leave this alone this is already taken this is the base for the chain one and we do not crochet into that so you can see let me show you slightly better here this is the stitch and the chain one is in that so you leave that alone so the last two stitches we crochet together and into the next one pull that out yarn over and pull through all three loops now we are done with decreasing at this point and we need to connect so again you're either going to look for the very first stitch when you turn around oh sorry when you turn your work up so this is that one or if you have marked take your stitch marker out and slip stitch you're going to chain one and you're going to continue with double crochets turn around now the first double crochet again goes right into the next little hole next to the chain one and then you're going to continue with double crochets into the back loop only now if you find it difficult to figure out the first and the last stitch or something like that just count your stitches ev in every row so you always from now on you will always have the same number of stitches all the way down uh, to the cuff so once you make the amount needed you're just gonna stop and you should be on point so just keep going to the end of this row I'm at the end of this row and I have one stitch left I make a double crochet into the back loop and again it might look like you have another stitch right here but if you look closely you can see that the chain one is coming out of the stitch so you leave that alone otherwise you're gonna have an increase and you will end up with wider sleeves so slip stitch to the very first stitch you're gonna chain one and I'm just going to quickly remind you of the beginning and of the end of the single crochet row so once you chain one you're gonna turn around put your single first single crochet right next uh, to that chain one and then you're going to continue into the back loop with single crochets all the way around and keep going again I have one stitch left I make a single crochet make sure you don't crochet into that the chain one is coming out of this one and slip stitch to the very first stitch chain one turn around and again double crochet right in front of that chain one and continue with the back loop double crochets so this is all that we are going to do for the rest of the sleeve just keep going keep making it longer until you're about five four and four and a half five centimeters short and then we will, once I make this sleeve, I will come back, I will cut the yarn together with you, we will measure if you, if you will need that, and then we will only have one more thing left for the, in this part one, we are just going to do the neckline, we just need to take it in a little bit, it is a little bit too wide for us to do the collar at the moment, and that will be the end of part one, so I'm going to see you real soon. And I have finished my sleeve. They are both exactly the same. They have the same amount of stitches and the same amount of rows. Make sure that they are absolutely the same. Okay, so now I am ready to cut the yarn off. Now, I didn't cut it off because I wanted to show you something. Now, if you look at the seam right here under the sleeve, you might see a little holes. Now, if you crochet slightly softer than me you might have bigger holes right here and you might not like that so what you can do uh, you can 
cut your tail a little bit longer and then you can just kind of a uh, stitch it all the way down to the sleeve if you want this is only if you want i am fine with that these are tiny little holes uh, i will not do that okay so chain one and cut your yarn leave a little tail and pull out your hook now we're almost done with the part one only the neckline is left now this is where you decide which side of the cardigan you want to use if it's that one or that one I will stick to this if you want the side that is on the inside you just pull out your sleeves and turn it out okay so to do our neckline we are going to make a slip knot and we are going to connect right here in the very very first stitch under your left hand so I have a chain 2 here so I'm not gonna skip that uh, chain so I'm going into the chain you might have a normal stitch depending on which side you're working on I am going to connect chain 1 and I'm gonna start making single crochets one into each of the leftover chains right here so you can see over on top of each double crochet there's a little leftover chain so just keep making one single crochet until you get very close to that very first corner that we had right here so you want to stop when you are one stitch away so you look closely right here so this is the corner stitch you can see the free double crochets coming out of that there's one stitch before and one stitch after so we are going to crochet them together go into the stitch before the corner grab your yarn pull it out leave it go into the stitch where your corner was grab your yarn pull it out and leave it yarn over and go into the next stitch after pull your yarn and leave it so we have one two three four five uh, loops yarn over and pull through all five now we will continue with half double crochets until we get again to one stitch before the corner before the next corner so half double crochets I'm just gonna have a look okay so this is the corner stitch it is easy to see and this is the one before so I'm gonna crochet this and I have one before the corner the corner and the one after we're gonna crochet them all together so yarn over put your hook in into the stitch before the corner pull out uh, the yarn you have three loops yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the corner stitch pull your yarn out you have four loops yarn over pull through two and the one after yarn over go into that stitch pull the yarn out pull through two loops so you should have four loops now yarn over and pull through all of them now you continue at the back of the cardigan or the jacket in double crochets until you get to one stitch before the next corner and the back in double crochets I have the corner stitch and the one before that and again I'm going to yarn over go into the stitch before pull the yarn out yarn over pull through two loops yarn over go into the middle stitch or the corner stitch pull through two loops yarn over go into the next one pull out pull through two loops four loops left pull the yarn out through the all of those loops continue on with half double crochets so this is on top of the shoulder again until you get to one chain or stitch before our last corner
Okay, so there it is, one stitch before, corner, and the one after. So first you're gonna yarn over, go into that very first stitch before, pull your yarn out and leave it. Go, uh, you don't yarn over anymore, you go straight into the corner stitch, pull that loop out, and straight go into the next one, pull out the loop, so we have one, two, three, four, five loops, yarn over and pull through all of them. And continue to the end with single crochets. I'm just gonna crochet over that tail a little bit. And my very last stitch. A little bit harder to go into it. There we go. I am done. I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna cut my yarn pull that out and we are done with the main part of the cardigan and uh, with the main color we are not going to need this anymore we have everything done so this is the end of part one uh, I hope that you liked it if you have any questions please do uh, comment or uh, message me on Facebook or Instagram I'm always uh, there so thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you in part two